it's back to studio. Hi, my name is Ekaterina Orlovi. I'm an artist and muralist. I've been working on a new series. For me, the way I work best is when I create a series of paintings, and this time I wanted to do something a little bit different. Usually I do a lot of research about what I want to paint, really focus on an artist statement and work from there, but I noticed recently that the work I was making is not something that I want to make, but rather what I think is expected of me. In the last series, I had trouble finding my voice, trouble communicating what it is I really wanted to say with the art. I realized I had a lot of preconceived notions about what an artist is supposed to be, and even though I'm a serious person, I think think that that really started to affect that I was painting. And it may be something that I'm unpacking from art school. I'm not really sure yet. This time, instead of doing all the research and having a set statement ahead to kind of inform the work, I'm still doing sketches, but I'm really trying to work almost intuitively. And this new series is a combination of memories and dreams and emotions. This all started with a memory. So when we were moving here, and by here I mean the US, I had this bicycle that my family bought and it was a brand new bike and I never got to ride it because we moved to the US. And when you come here, I don't know how it is now, but back then when we immigrated, you could only bring so much. So we had a few suitcases, but obviously we weren't going to bring everything. I think when you're younger, it does seem like a bigger deal because you don't have that many possessions that are truly yours. So this always stuck with me. And because that was a really hard time for my family, we immigrated, didn't know the language. And even though now I'm very grateful that we made that move, I think especially now that I'm a parent and all these emotions are sort of bubbling up to the surface, going back to unpack some of those through my art it feels so vulnerable. I have this interesting relationship with physical things, objects. On one hand, I think it's fair to say I'm a maximalist. I collect fairy tale books and little knickknacks and of course art supplies. But on the other hand, I'm very used to moving, so I don't like getting too attached to things. So I spend more time with them by painting them. So going back to this, I've been starting with a vase or a vessel and it becomes a metaphor for myself or just the mind and it's holding a memory of something. So you'll notice there's an underpainting in purple kind of like a shadow of something that was there before but isn't there now. That to me is why watercolor is my preferred medium because it's so emotional and it could be really complex. In my paintings I almost always layer flowers or objects as a stand-in for feeling two things at once and in this series it's layering feelings and memories. I think our senses are tied with memories also like the smell of apple pie reminds you of family get-togethers for example and I'm not ready to dive into all the senses yet but I do want all the things I'm painting to be rooted in reality. I say that because I'm not a realistic painter. I like to change colors and add petals, but you can still tell what I'm drawing um, is a boot <laughs> or a shoe, so it's not completely abstract. I'm hoping this series is going to grow into a very deep dive of memory. Right now, I just have this one and the previous bouquet in the bottle can that you saw me painting a study of. I think my barometer when it comes to being proud of what I paint, even if it's not a good painting technically, which I know is subjective, but it's kind of a feeling I have. It's like a feeling you have after a good cry, happy in a way. Actually, in real life, crying releases oxytocin and can help you reduce stress. So maybe there's not a name for this, but it's how I can tell that I'm proud of the work. Also, another way that I can tell that I really love a piece is that I want to frame it. And that's because watercolor paintings are expensive to frame. Unless it's for a show, I really have to be choosy about what I frame. So there's that practical aspect of it too. So that's where I am right now with this and I'm not looking for feedback yet but if you've been in the same place I was, uh, if you weren't happy with what you were painting or whatever you were working on, how did you work through that? And are you on the same page now with your work? If you like this sort of uh, chatty podcast style of video, uh, let me know too. And subscribe if you want to follow along or find me on Instagram or TikTok at Orlovi. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.